I think gratitude is is that I I really I um, that business of looking for for uh, filling up that hole now. I think everyone that I know deep down is looking for a meaningful life. That's what people want. They want a life of purpose. And so I think, and they so often pursue that uh, by trying to get their to-do list done. That was my addiction, was if I could just get enough done. And I would start my day with going, oh my God, I'll never get it all done. And I would end my day by saying, oh my God, I didn't get nearly enough done. You did this for how many years? Too many years. Now, happily, I'm a happy guy. Are you? So there was, you? you know, my wife wouldn't have stayed for 25 years if I was if like would, that I all understand. the time. Um, so, so you know, just the last couple of years were rough. But and there were rough years here and there. But there were many beautiful years because both of us had the good sense to be grateful and to do this business. Of, but in the last five or ten years, I have begun to start my day by reviewing a list I made the night before, and I learned this from my mentor. And, and, uh, and he basically said, make a list of the things that please you today. And it's not even a gratitude list. I do that in the morning. There's things that please me. I had a great cup of coffee. I had an incredible conversation with this guy, Lance. And the twinkle in his eye, which I will remember when I leave here, and your smile, that's going to go on the list. Like, what a thing to sit with somebody. Look at this smile and this <laughs> twinkle, right? If you don't see that, then you're not seeing Mm. Clearly, right? So that they say the light of the soul is through the, through, through through the eyes. eyes. Yeah, that's, right. that's that's from the Bible. I believe that. And and so I, I make a list of things that please me. A cute girl on the train smiled at me. I, I could tell from her eyes because her mouth was covered, you know. Um, and the trees. I love looking at trees. And I, in the morning, I spend a little time watching. I look for something moving. That sense of movement, kinetic. Mm -hmm. That's life. That things are moving. And I'm not doing that. I'm not moving that. And there it goes. Perspective. Most of what's happening in the world is happening just fine without me. And even the it things that aren't going well, statistically, even, God forbid, like what's going on in Ukraine, it's terrible. But the number of lives right now that are going okay, where they're not being bombed and they're not being killed, statistically, there are more miracles happening every second of goodness. Oh. And if we look at that, we have to look at the dark side because we have to see our part in helping fix it. We have to raise that's money. World. That's the and, world. Right, that's, that's the, the world. The yin, the yang, yeah. however you want to look at it. Right, so that's and it. It's never going to change. No. Nah. So purposeful, meaningful life, I have to look at the things that please me and then the things I did well. Because there's a lot of things I did well. Like I, I took a phone call from a friend who was having a hard time and I listened. I, I stopped interrupting them. As you can see, I'm an interrupter. And I'm trying to learn how not to interrupt and just be present. So that list, I review that list in the morning, and I go, "Wow, I had a great day yesterday." And then I and then I thank God for the, for I make a gratitude list. I look out the window and I meditate a little bit. Just how, how I'm grateful for the, the, just the people going by and the sun and the rain and whatever. My health that I was able to run last night, you know. And then and then I look in the mirror and I review that list and I go, "You did a good job yesterday." Let's start with that today and even do better.